Hey everyone, welcome back to the Iraqi Dinar channel. Today, let's tackle a topic that keeps popping up, hyperinflation and the dinar. There's a lot of misinformation out there, so let's break it down with some clear facts and see where the real value lies. Hyperinflation misconceptions, many folks, including some economists, throw around the term hyperinflation when discussing the dinar. But here's the thing, Hyperinflation is a situation where prices skyrocket uncontrollably. Think of Venezuela, where a loaf of bread costs millions. Simply removing zeros from a currency doesn't create hyperinflation. In fact, removing zeros, a process called redenomination, is actually a common practice. It makes dealing with large numbers easier. Imagine carrying a stack of cash just to buy a coffee. It's a practical step that doesn't impact the value of the currency itself. Iraq's unique case. Now, let's focus on Iraq. Their situation is different from countries experiencing true hyperinflation. Before the wars, the dinar held a strong value, around $2.25 to the US dollar. One key factor often overlooked is that Iraq never lost its customer base. Why? Because they have something the world desperately needs, oil. Even during the conflicts, oil production actually increased. These loyal customers, combined with Iraq's vast oil resources, are a recipe for potential future growth. Inflation and policy-based decisions, yes, there is inflation in Iraq, but here's the catch, it's largely policy-based. In simple terms, the government's decisions may be driving inflation, not a weak currency. So where's the value in the dinar? Hidden value lies in Iraq's assets. Here's where it clicks, Iraq has a strong export base with oil as its valuable resource. Add to that a loyal customer base. This is where the hidden value lies. It's not about hyperinflation fears. It's about the potential for future economic stability and growth. Remember, this video doesn't offer financial advice. We're simply discussing the facts and exploring the potential.